A long list, Brian. The student is charged with having a gun and being underage, having a stolen gun, and having a gun on school grounds. Now, police say the shooting happened off campus, but as you heard, a student tells me the shots were so loud it sounded like they were coming from inside the school. Then everybody started hearing gunshots. Rick Stutz was in the cafeteria at Geringer High School when the school went on lockdown. And I was still in the line, and so they closed the back doors, telling everybody to sit down. And it was just chaos, pretty much. The principal says they believe two groups got into a shootout off campus, and then some of the people involved in that, who were possibly students, ran onto school grounds. The school was then put on lockdown, and the principal says CMPD started their search in the gym. Officers found a gun and two loaded magazines. I'm just a little concerned. You know, uh, of course, when you get a call saying, you know, something's happening at the school and there's a shooting and the school's on lockdown, the first, you know, things for me, my first thing was to call my son. Billy Stallings Jr. has two students at Geringer. He got in touch with both of them and was relieved to know they were okay. Other parents panicked, not knowing if their students were safe. It, I jumped up immediately and wanted to come pick them up, but I couldn't with the lockdown. A student was arrested for having a stolen gun on campus. You bring them here thinking that, you know, they're going to take care of them. I don't understand why they don't have metal detectors. When I was going to school, actually, I'm from Chicago, and we had metal detectors in our school. And as kids, we were like, what's this? But it did, I think it helped a lot more, you know, Having those, yeah, at the first, you don't want to go through metal detectors, but if it's going to protect the kids, I think they should put them in. Now, CMS does random safety screenings at schools. They don't happen every day at every high school, but CMS says they are done regularly. I'm live at Garinger High School. Robin Kennedy. Fox 46. Quite the scare for parents, students, and staff. Robin, thank you. And you can count on Fox 46 to keep you updated on this investigation on air and online at fox46.com.